Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I'm your host, Brothgar, and today we are rejoining the action here with the Hopeless Noobsicles. I'm working on Cycle 4, and the last time we built this whole base right here. That was Episode 1. So, we've got some more things going on here. We've got some plants. Maybe we can get this going. We've got some water. And kind of expand the base here. Try to get things a little bit more organized. Maybe make some rooms, put some doors in. Improve the quality of life for our Hopeless Noobsicles here. And all of our duplicates, so that they're not, uh, you know, so that they're not dying. So while it is nighttime here, let me go on over here to the comments you guys left on the last video. Most of you guys were saying first and all that good stuff, so I'm glad you guys are here. Glad you guys are enjoying it. Uh, play Post Night and some other recommended games. I played King of Thieves. That game turned into like the most frustrating game ever. Uh, Reticence Gaming down here actually gives some useful information. He says the air purity is harder early game because carbon dioxide falls. So having a destination for carbon dioxide collection room, more or less a room for it to sink into, and then that'll keep the oxygen pure up where my people will stay. So that's a good idea to have. And stress is caused by many things, lack of sleep, low decor, sickness, and all that stuff that can be caused. So whatever. Higher decor will more or less address that right there. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm up at 2 o'clock in the morning talking about things that cause stress, right? It's uh, been very spring-like around here, so the allergies have decided to come back in and, and give myself headaches, and then I fall asleep, and ugh, I spend sleeping all afternoon, and now you're up in the middle of the night, which is just gonna snowball and cause all kinds of problems. But here we are. Let's see what we can do here. True life problems. These guys need some more stuff to do. We got different stations. The supercomputer, are we doing anything with this? No, let's do some more novice research. That's what we want. We also need some food. We don't have anything there. We can do some mush bar, I guess. You know what I want to find out, though, today? I want to see if what happens when the outhouse fills up. <laughs> and speaking of oxygen, let's see if I can see this right over here. Where are we at? Okay, so yeah, over here where we have the manual sort of generator there's some quite a bit of carbon dioxide, so I should probably address that pretty quickly here. And this is a vacuum, so let's let's go ahead and just see if we can suck in the carbon dioxide over there. So we're gonna dig this out just right over here. Yeah, this will be good plan. All right, so let's take a look at my decor. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> also, looks like we got a problem with the oxygen, as you can tell. Uh, they seem to be holding their breath quite a bit down here. So it's probably worthwhile to make a one of these algae doodads over here. Just so that we can actually breathe. There we go. Pro strategy zone. <laughs> this is what happened over here. <laughs> Look at how pissed off Meep is. He's all grimy because he's actually like plumbing the outhouse. <laughs> So I guess that's what happens when your outhouse fills up. Somebody has to, like, plunger it. All right, well, that functioned pretty good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Contaminated dirt. What is this thing? It's letting off the poo gas, stinking up everything. We'll make sure to sweep that up and put it away. Everybody's holding their breath down here. Yeah, we do have a problem. At least it is making oxygen down there, so that should be all right. You don't want to die in a mine. Not down here. That's what we have for stuff down here. We got some meal wood harvest. So you can harvest that stuff right there. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that's going to do for me. Well, crap, I put my poop in the storage compactor. Not a whatever I was calling it yesterday. And <laughs> now it's stinking up the whole place up here. All right, we'll get rid of the contaminated dirt. What do I do with this? Well, I guess you got to do what you got to do. I was wondering why Meep was always falling asleep, but actually, he's got some details that I wasn't really paying attention attention to earlier. Yeah, he's narcoleptic. <laughs> Can fall asleep at any time. <laughs> right now, that's kind of how I feel. All right, so how's our oxygen doing? Hey, it's doing pretty good. Look at that. Although, I do have some toxic stuff that's starting to happen here. I'm guessing that has to do with uh, that waste I have right here. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, looks like we're finishing up cycle five right there. I have not opened up into a vacuum just yet. I might make a pneumatic door first, just to see what happens. Oh, 
Hang on. Cancel build. That might have a... <laughs> that might be bad right there. I don't think that door is actually going to do anything. I wonder what happens when I'm going to open up to into a vacuum. I'm guessing everything's going to flow in there. We're just going to have to find out. Highest stress level, 3%. So Lenny right now is only st stressed a little bit. So far, I'm doing pretty good. If we look at the reports, as far as the generation, uh, the previous day, oxygen generated 195 kilograms and removed 183. So I'm actually producing more oxygen, finally. Same with power as well. So far, things are looking sustainable. All right, who's ready to see if people die when you do this? Me! What's gonna happen? Everybody hold your breath. Here it goes. Just gonna get sucked in. Mm, no. So the carbon dioxide is flowing down. That actually seemed to work out pretty good. Well, okay. Sweet. Thanks for the tip, Red Essence Gaming. I think that'll be pretty useful. All right, so let's do some more quality of control, quality of life stuff here. We're gonna put some ladder up here. Dun 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 dun. Make a little bit more of a tile or whatever. Yeah, look at this base building going on. We got science and everything. I know. It's getting professional in here. Boom, look at this plan. Look at this. We got walls going in up here. A new way to get from your sort of main area right here to the top left area where we're going to make some food. The chef can sleep right next to it. It's got a light. Gonna dig this stuff up so you can get to it. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. I know what you're thinking. This is getting pretty impressive right here. I know. Just saying. Maybe the hopeless noobsicles are not so hopeless after all. Although, I don't know if we still have any research. Or maybe, how do I get my research? What do I gotta do? Okay. I got to generate a whole bunch of these before I actually unlock this stuff, right? That's what, it makes sense. It's all clicking now. I think, I think Lenny's stuck. Oh, there he goes. Just confused, that's all. Just a little confused up there. Uh, what's up with the Lenny? Oh no, he's pissing on the ladder. Oh, come on now. Oh, Lenny. Oh no, contaminated one. <laughs> oh, they took a piss in their room. I guess he couldn't get through the door because the door wasn't open or something. I don't know what Lenny's problem is, dude. Just go to the bathroom. Oh, because he never dug out his... That's why. Well, that that can't be good for decor. Decor overlay. Kind of nasty. <laughs> Meep. Oh, he splashed down in Lenny's piss. Grimy. Oh, what's it say? Stepped in contaminated water and then fell asleep in it. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, somebody mopped this up. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Come on, Lenny. You knew what you had to do. You just didn't do it. I guess sometimes you gotta go, huh? Alright, so that's the end of cycle six right there. I've made some big improvements to this base. I wonder how Meep's doing. Stepped in contaminated water. Tired. Grimy. <laughs> but, I think that they should be doing quite a bit better now. I mean, look at this. They have, they've got their own rooms and stuff. It seems like that would work out. Some of them even have lights. All right, well, I got a new prod here, so I can choose another duplicant. Of course, if we could sustain them. We got Ellie, Katrin, and Eleanor. So we've got an architect, a night owl. Hmm, construction, athletics, stress response, vomiter, vomiter, destructive. Early bird, I'm not an early bird myself. I'm a night owl, so I'm gonna go with Eleanor. Because it's kind of like me, especially right now, considering uh, it's 2.30 in the morning. So let's burn her off. Ba -dum -bum -bum. What's up, Eleanor? Actually, there's already a place where you can sleep. And look at this, I got a storage facility going on over here. Professional. 
I guess I'm just going to continuously fabricate mush bars for right now. Even though it's not going to be that nice. Whatever. Make sure that stays swept up. Look at Eleanor go! Doing all that research. I'm going to give you a bet. You can stick around. And you know what else? I should get the supercomputer. Can be worked by duplicates to construct intermediary research and unlock new technologies. Oh, that'll be useful. This will be the supercomputer room. Probably going to consume a lot more electricity than I can make. Okay, we're going to make a ladder over here. Make sure I dig up all this stuff as well. That's some good ore. And then harvest. Harvest all of that. Uh-oh. This isn't going to turn out good. No, no, they're still on something. No. Nope. <laughs> Here they go, they're going to fall. Hopefully not to their death. Dun dun dun. Gravity! <laughs> oh, that's alright, they did well. I thought they were going to get hurt. Okay, so we can open some research now. This is intermediate stuff. Temperature. I could really select all this stuff later. Oh, I guess I do got to pick something, huh? Never mind. And since I'm already working on gas piping, what do I want to do? A hydro fan? Cool things off. Cools gas, pipe through it, heat. Okay, so I can heat some stuff. What's the temperature around here? It's actually starting to warm up a little bit. Look at this, it's almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit up in here. Whoa, hang on. Temperature overlay. Yeah. yeah it's getting a little warmer, that's for sure. So, temperature management is going to be much more... That's what I want to do. All right, I'm going to move the outhouse. I'm actually going to put two of them over here. So we can get rid of that one. So it doesn't stink up everything. Give people a little bit nicer environment. Just like this. And we'll even put a little door next to it. You know what else I should do? I should put a storage container over here. That way we can store the contaminated poop after it comes out of the toilet. Rather than keep it, keep it around in our base here. We don't want that. So... We'll just go to the organic and get rid of contaminated dirt on all of these. We're getting strategic now. Yeah. All right, so here we are at the end of cycle seven. Just to give myself a little bit of an overview, the oxygen. I think we're doing pretty good right there. Power grid. I think we've also connected quite a few things. Things are looking a little bit better. My stress level is zero. So I think that's good. What about temperature, though? Temperature is starting to become a problem, I think. It's gonna get warm, and then it's gonna get hot. If we end up sc scorching or molten, we're all dead. Hopefully that doesn't get there. It's all gonna come down to this research, though. This is what we really need. Continuous research fabrication. So I need to assign somebody who is going to only do research. Eleanor, that's your job. Figure it out. We got a problem. The new outhouses are going in, and the contamination container right next to it, which is set up for only poo gas. That is also gonna be there too. I'm thinking this is a good plan. It feels pretty good thus far. I'm also gonna dig up into here as well, if I want to. I don't really wanna break the seal and cause some vacuum though. But all this copper ore, that's gonna be pretty useful. I guess I need dirt to do more research. That's what's going on here. Did not know that. Luckily, there's quite a bit of that right down here. Oh, oh no. Oh well, I kind of wanted to harvest that stuff. But now it's gone. Oh well. I think I also have to have another oxygen generator because right now, let's see, what do I got? The colony has produced 166 kilograms of oxygen, but We've consumed just a little bit more. Although I have this big plenum chamber down here for all that stuff. So I think that'll work out, Never mind. I don't think I'm in a big trouble just yet. Ah, okay, so that's what's going on here. Eleanor should be able to deliver to her own work location. Come on. All we gotta do is deliver some dirt to the research station. All right, take you off sweeping. Come on, Eleanor. You can do this. Still sweeping. I guess once they got their mind set to a job, they're just gonna keep doing it. Never mind me, who's giving you all the instructions. Meanwhile, things are continuing to get hotter. Hotter and hotter and hotter. 
All right, well, there you have it. That is the end of cycle eight. I think I've made some good progress today. One big problem that I have that's really coming my way, though, if I can't figure it out, is I gotta get this research so that I can finally do some air piping and hopefully get enough research to get some the temperature down. Because at this point, well, I think that's gonna be my biggest problem. It's starting to get pretty hot in here. 90 degrees Fahrenheit, that's, that's warm. You know, it's a little bit cooler in some areas, but overall, it's definitely starting to creep in. At any rate, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode here of Oxygen Not Included. And if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar.